chance. What it do, cuz cuz? It's your cuddy, Slick, and I'm here with another cool video. Yarra. Okay, today we're gonna be taking a quick look and cracking open Rambo V. I say it how I see it. Rambo V 4G smartwatch. Now this product right here, you get on Amazon.com for $239.99. So you're looking at 240 bucks. Now let's get straight into it. Yes, yes. Now here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Rambo V. I say it how I see it. Rambo V 4G smartwatch. Now let's crack it open. All right, all right. Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. A nice, good looking white box. I got it, I mean, nothing too fancy. Now, this right here is another your big daddy watch, like this one right here. Now, quick story behind it <laughs> I had to order me another one. I told myself I wasn't going to buy me another one, but I did because you can see right there how that one's all duct taped and gorilla glued down. This one's my small one. This is my 2.41. This is my next big one. This is my 2.86. You can see from that one, same thing happened to this one. Wrist being snapped off. I gritted, glued it, duct tape it. Tried to put it back together so I could rock it. I paid too much for these <laughs> smart watches. This one was about $200. This one was about $180. You can see the side difference. Got this one. So this one's my tick watch. And this one is my lympho. Oh yeah. Love these watches, but the downside is a wristband. These are not made for the rock at the gym or rocking outside playing basketball or lifting weights. They're gonna they're just too heavy. They're gonna they're gonna snap off. You know what I mean? Both of these, both of my watches snap during work. I was working at Target, I was throwing the truck. And they just fell off my wrist. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this right here is your 4G smartwatch, 2.88 screen display. And with no further ado, let me bust up my joker knife so we can see what we have on the inside. All right, all right. Why so serious? <laughs> all right, now let's crack it over, y'all. Man, I love these smartwatches. Man, it's just the wristband. It's too weak. It don't hold. Now, if you ever bought, if anybody ever bought these big watches, joker knife out. <laughs> bought these big watches like I did, and you experienced the same tragedy like I did, you're going to feel disappointed. You know what I mean? Great watch. I love it. The display, man, the functionality on it, when you get your messages, the whole nine yards, it's amazing. You know what I mean? But the downside is just the wristband. These ain't your uh, going out plain activity don't care what it said on the display but anyway here it is ladies and gentlemen <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> here goes your 2.88 oh yeah smart watch display oh, I'm, I'm loving this one right here now this one is different this one don't there's no band connected it just snaps into place that's why I got that one I got tired my wristbands just snapping off I pay so much money for this just see you go that right down the drain. Also inside the box, you get your instructor, instructions manual uh, guide to show you how to operate and use. Oh. You get your screen protector, very important. Go slide that bad boy on there. Also in the box, you get your da 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 da. Your cable cord, USB charging cable cord. All right, four prongs, nice. Screw, you screw the back. Put your SIM card in there, SIM tray. This right here is your, what is this? Okay, give you extra uh, charge cable. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's what that I mean. Man, these only get one. So if you're trying to uh, core break or it just stop working, you gotta uh, somehow, some way, try to find another replacement. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Now that's what's up. I like that already. Okay, I feel happy about my purchase. So far, so good. All right, as well in the body, you get your, is your snap-on wristband. 
Oh yeah. This is where the watcher will be sitting on. Got your cutout right there for your heart rate monitor. Oh, super excited. Okay, and there goes the band right here. So is, is the band interchangeable? No, it's not. But hopefully the, this band will hold good, better than these ones. Man, I'm telling you, and another downside about these is the wires, wires inside the band. So once it's ripped out, you can mess, you can mess up this up. So now I only can use this for, um, you know, doing time, etc. It still connects to my phone, which is weird, but I don't know what that wire pulled out. But everything else still works on this uh, watch fine. So you can watch movies, you can do all that. But this one right here, yeah, I gotta say, fresh, so clean. No more duct tape on me. <laughs> Man, super excited, y'all. Here goes the uh, display itself. This is a big boy right here. Heart rate monitor on the back. Put your SIM tray in the back. Ready for SIM tray. Charger port right here on the side. SIM tray right here goes on the side right here. Nice. Let me see if this guy needs juice. Let me go ahead and power it on. Power button right here on the side. This guy needs juice. Ooh, look at that. Look at that beauty right there. I'm going to peel this off for you. Nice, got a camera up in front. Come right here up on top, on the side. Okay. Android. Oh, yeah. I'm digging this. Heart rate monitor on the back. I'm going to peel this off. Nice. This is nice. I'm digging this. That's one thing I like about this one too. This one got two cameras as well. One right here on the front. And the other one is somewhere right here on the side. And this one was cheaper than my uh, other big daddy one, than the Lympho. Lympho only got one camera. No, we got one right here. And that's it. It's the front. And I paid. 200, a little over 200 for this one. This one was like 180. But you can see the side difference in all of them. Look at that one. That one's bigger. This one 2.88. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is nice. Oh yeah. Super excited. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, put my information in this one. And we're going to breeze right through it. All right, y'all, hang tight. And I'm back. All right, y'all, I done connect this Bluetooth 4G smartwatch to my phone through Bluetooth and play with it for a few hours, or maybe should I say a day and a half. And let me tell y'all, the flex factor of the smartwatch is truly amazing. It's y'all that I mean, hands down. And you know that everything on me gotta be extra large. Yay! So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I definitely got my likes and dislikes about this 4G smartwatch. The display on it is truly amazing. I mean, I got compliments off back when people saw this watch. Like, they was like, is that a phone in your wrist? <laughs> truly, truly amazing. You can tell by I got a couple of nicks scratching because I took my dog Bella to the park and uh, I was tossing the, the ball around and he was jumping all up on me. So maybe that came from that. I don't know how that scratch got there, but it's there. Yada. Here are the other two uh, uh, 4G smartwatches. Well, Limfo and your Tick watch, tick wrist watch. <laughs> uh, smaller uh, display, bigger watch. Hands down, still in love with these. I've even fixed the, uh, the handband a little more better. So I go outside and rock it. Somewhat decent, you know what I mean? I still like these smart watches because, man, they, they, they still go. As for the flex wide, display wise, I get a lot of compliments. They're like, man, where you get that? Especially off of this one. And this is the smallest one I have. So if people see this one, they'll be like, ugh, where'd you get that big old watch from? That's nice. And I tell them, oh, Amazon, oh, Amazon. Man, overall, y'all, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of the uh, smart watches, the big faces. I mean, it truly is a, a flex factor. Like, if you go out to dinner or anything like that, and I don't care if, I don't care if anybody's rocking like an Apple Watch, a new Apple Watch, or a new Galaxy Watch, you show up to a dinner rocking this. People gonna know the other people watching. They're gonna look at your watch and be like, "Ugh, what's that? <laughs> is that another mini phone?" 
overall, y'all, yeah, it's truly amazing. I like it. But let's dive straight on into it. Now, the display on this is, is, is nice. Uh, you got your back button right here. The front uh, uh, camera is uh, 5.0 megapixel and then uh, the size 13. If you want to go through your app, you go through your apps by swiping from right, from left to right. All right, there's a couple apps already downloaded. Tubi, TikTok. If I want to go on TikTok, I go on TikTok. Yeah, you know I mean, it just, woo, shoot. I know you saw that. Go to sleep. Man. But <laughs> it's truly amazing. Um, the display on it, I definitely like the volume on this. It actually get pretty loud because the speaker grill is actually right here. See that right there? That's the speaker grill. So if I go to my settings, let me show y'all real quick. So go to my settings. I go to Q tone. Tap on that. Go down here. See, I got a little bit low, but let me turn it up. All right. And then when I go back to my app, let's go back to TikTok. <sighs> now you can hear it. So when you're watching movies or videos, the sound comes directly at you, which I like. Where most smart watches, a speaker grill is either on the side or at the bottom. Woo! I know you heard that one. Get up, son. Get up. Woo! He went to sleep. He said good night. He'll feel that tomorrow. <laughs> Man. So, yeah. So, you definitely got your app. You can download through your Google Play Store right here up on top. What you want to download. As you, now, you swipe from right to left. You got your uh, your steps. Your heart rate. Your exercise workout. Your music. If you got to connect to your phone. Your uh, record. Weather. Stopwatch. And your timer. So like when you wash your hands, you get 30 seconds when you wash your hands. All right. Brushing your teeth. Two minutes. Face mask. 15. And then cooking. 10 minutes. Wherever you cooking. <laughs> but overall, very nice. With the display on the apps. If you swipe from down and up. You get your notifications. All right. If I want to clear, I can clear it. Clear all. Boom. And if you swipe down, you get your quick toggle. So you can control your brightness. How bright you want the screen. Go to the settings. You need to go to the settings. All that. Airplane mode, the whole nine yards. Silent mode, night mode. You want to open up the night mode. Find your phone, which is not connected. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But overall, nice. And then another the key thing, when you hold down a power button, it'll open like, see the multi tabs open like you open up the window that you already went on. So the that you was already on. If you don't want that there, you can swipe it out. We're going to go back to, it's like another shortcut. We're going to go to Solitaire or TikTok. I can open that, either or. And everything's saved on here, like a phone. Gooey. And if you want to, Take it out the band, push this button right here, lift it up, it'll snap off the band, and then from there you can watch your video, play games, etc. I let my nephew play with it, and he's like, ooh, he got addicted. He was playing a little, uh, what's that star game with the ships? He's shooting at the, at the aircraft game. Anyway, he was playing that. I'll show that in a minute, and uh, he was having fun with it. You know what I mean? So a cool device to keep your kids occupied. If you don't want them on your phone, just give them this watch, like here. And they watch video, play games, the whole nine yard. And uh, keep them busy. You know what I mean? And if you want to snap back on, see the groove right here? Don't do like I did earlier. I went like this this way and I snap it down. No, that's how you break the, uh, the plastic up on that. Just slide it forward and snap down. And you, then you got your different interface of smartwatches. You do got live wallpaper on here too. So if I do something like this, Get your little live wallpaper. It got plenty of wallpapers you can choose from. 
Now, if you want to customize it more to your style, then download the Zedge app like I did. And then from here, you go to right here where it says select photo, go select photo, and then select what you want. Nice. Now, let's go, let's get, let's dive right on into what I like and don't like of the 4G smartwatch. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me show you what it looks like when you slap it on your wrist. Now, you do got your heart rate monitor on the back. All right, forgot to show that. SIM tray is on the side. I did put a SIM card here, threw it in, charge part right there, which I truly like on the side. All right, real quick, let me show you what it looks like when you're rocking it. Now, I try to rock it on my right hand because I like to wear my watches on my right hand, as you can see right here. All right. I like to wear my watches on, on my right hand, but with this watch, it's not made for that because it, it will stick out. It will bulge out. It's made to rock, rock on your left hand so it will sit more comfortable and this will line up evenly with your wrist. So let me go ahead and pull this watch off. Pull off this speaker watch real quick. Take, <clears throat> take it off. All right, let me set that to the side. Let me show you what it looks like when you're rocking on your wrist. So when you're rocking your wrist, you can see right there how it's even with my wrist. Now, if I try to rock it on my right hand, this is how it will look and it will kind of bulge out. You see what I'm saying? Then, you, then your wrist will be getting away. So, rock it on your left hand. That's what it's made for. So if you're lefty, you like to wear your watches on the right. <sighs> I'm sorry to say, you have to rock this one on your left hand. You know what I mean? This on real quick for y'all so y'all can see what it look like. There we go. Snap it on. Comfortable band. Comfortable feel. I, I did sleep with this bad boy on to test it out. See how it feels when I sleep on it at night. And it was comfortable. It didn't bother me. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. So that's nice. I'm definitely digging that. I definitely love the customization of it. The display on it. <laughs> so I can wake this one up. Boom. <laughs> okay. All right. With no further ado, let's dive right on in on what I like and don't like about this 4G smartwatch. Gooey. All right, y'all. Now let's talk about what I don't like about this 4G smartwatch, and that is the tethering. You cannot tether this smartwatch to your phone at all. It's a dead done deal. You know what I mean? No matter what it says in the book, it said go to your Google or Apple Play Store, download the app if you want to tether it called HEBS. It's a dead app. You can't download it. In fact, you can't even find it on uh, Google Play Store or some phones. It's a done deal. So if you do buy this for that reason, don't. You, you, you're not going to like it at all. Also, what I don't like is the on display. It's very short. It, it, it shows for a little bit and then it cuts off. I mean, I get it to say battery, but man. At times when I go places, I like to rock out with the little, with the display of the picture just just a tad little longer. You know what I mean? Without having to shake my wrist all the time. See, with this one, I can have it on for a little bit and will hold. Now, if I hit the power button, it will hold for like five minutes, and it will shut itself off. Same thing with this one. So if I shake it, it will hold for a little bit. But if I hit the power button right here on the side, it will hold that picture for at least about five minutes before shutting off. I wish with this one you could do the same thing when I hit the power button, it will, it will cut on for a little while and then it shuts off. Wish you could you know, hold the display a little longer to rock out when you're flexing outside. You know what I mean? Also, the battery life. Depending on how you use a smartwatch, if you're rocking on full brightness, which I like, which I like to rock on because it's truly amazing when it shows the display of the color. Let me show you all That's all right, that's on high. It's on high. I'll put it on low, so it looks like on low. We somewhere darker. But when I'm outside, I don't want to flex in the sunlight where people can see my watch. I want them to see it. So being on the smartwatch, uh, playing video game, watching movies like you would on your phone, could drain the battery of the smartwatch pretty fast. You know what I mean? But if you want to rock it through the whole day, make it so you can spot through the whole day, just use it as for a regular watch. You know what I mean? And every once in a while, I get on there and play some video games, look at YouTube. You don't want to look on your phone. And then you're going to survive through the whole day with the smartwatch. Now, I did test it out by going to bed at night. 
I went uh, to bed at 10 o'clock with 100% battery, woke up at six and it was at 70%. So I planned on it for a little while and then by 8.30, it was at 50%, 53%. So now I put it back on the charger so it got uh, fully charged. Now to charge this bad boy up, it takes an hour and a half from zero to 100 real quick. Yeah, you know I mean, um, and yeah, but overall, that's what I don't like about the 4G smartwatch is those little minor functions. But now let's dive into what I do like. Goo. Now let's talk about what I do like about this 4G smartwatch, and that is the display, hands down. That's why I purchased this bad boy. <laughs> so when I be outside, when I flex, I'm flexing nice and big, extra large. You know what I mean? I gotta do everything big, man. The display on this is amazing. Watching movies, social media, I go on TikTok, um, look at videos. Yeah, I mean, I can I can be tapping on, on on a live. Let's see who's live right now. Go tap on live. I can even tap it on live. Can I tap on the live? Yeah, there we go. So you can see who's live, and you can kind of tune in on the live conversations on your smartwatch instead of using your phone. Which is pretty cool. So, so, I'm, so I'm definitely digging that. I'm definitely digging that. I like watching hers. This is Nick Nick. Ex uh, bodybuilder. Every tune in to her lives. Be uh, quite interesting sometimes. You know what I mean? But overall, you can do all that on a smartwatch and have fun with it. Play video games. Play video games pretty cool too. So let me go with this one right here. I let my nephew play it, play with this, and uh, he was having fun with it. It kind of, he kind of got distracted from cleaning the house. He was just, un he, he was just in there like swimwear, just playing on it, and he was having a blast. And the display on it, I mean, the sound on it comes at you. And that's another thing I like about it. It's not on the side, it's not at the bottom where it get muffled. It's right here in front. That speaker grill right there in front to where it comes right at you. I've been playing that. For my nephew, he was playing with it and he got, he got pretty far. Playing that. All right, we we'll go ahead and play real fast. So it's, it's pretty cool. So he on the second level. Uh, all right, let's play. Let's play real fast. So this is a game that he was playing. Yeah, baby. Oh, 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 oh! Did I, did I crash? I did. Okay, hold on. I'm looking. I'm looking through my camera trying to play this. Hold on. Okay. Well. I died. Let's give up. <laughs> it is what it is. But overall, the display on this bad boy is what I truly like uh, about this 4G smartwatch. I wish it could tether to my phone to make me that much more happier about this smartwatch and, and, and really say, yeah, this watch right here. Y'all know what I mean? Oh, man, you got to get this. Right now, it's just gooey. That means it's nice. <laughs> also, you could uh, detach it on your wristband. So, Another plus about this is like, say like you don't want your kids, if you got kids, or you're around kids, you don't want them playing on your phone, get them a smartwatch to play on. Open up a game for them, and they can sit down and watch movies to play games on a smartwatch. And believe it or not, this little device right here, just being this small, they get attached to it. Quick, like a cell phone. And don't want to set it down, you know what I mean? In fact, if you're rocking this, and you have your phone, kids might want to jump on this because the simple fact is it's just a cool device. It's just something new, unique. Ain't never seen before, you know what I mean? And like, I want to watch it on the phone set. I mean, I want to watch on the watch set of the phone. That's dope. I'm definitely digging that. Where I don't have to take out my whole smartwatch to charge it up. You know what I mean? Oh man, that's one thing I do like. Plus, with the charger port on the side, definitely with the charger ports because my old one. Let me see if I can find my charger real quick. Hold on. So with these smartwatches right here, this is your charger cord. And then once this breaks, it's a wrap. You got you got pretty much look for it online, trying to find you another uh, display of charger cord just like this. Hold on one second. Oh, okay, see that's 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 my TikTok. 
still going on the live feed. So what you got to do is you want to exit out of it, hold this down for a few seconds, go to multitask, cancel that out, and then cancel that out. And I could cancel that out, cancel that out, etc. All right. And that's another thing I like about this. It multitask, save your apps that you was on. If you want to go back to it, you go back to it. It's nice. But overall, the charging port for this one is right here. I like this magnet to the side, give you two of these instead of one. That way, if this one breaks, there's plenty of these online you can find. You can probably find in your uh, local store, like Walmart somewhere. But these one right here, nope. Good luck. That bad boy breaks, boy. It just breaks. <laughs> But overall, that's what I like about this 4G smartwatch. And that's the display on it. It's truly amazing. It's comfortable. It's good. The camera pictures on here is all right. It's decent. Let's see if I take some pictures real quick before I, before I dip out. Um, my photo is that. Let's go to camera. Oh, there's a photo right there. So this is what it looks like. All right, and I can switch it. So the camera on here is not that bad. I take it, tap the screen, take a picture. Cool. And then you could go to your gallery photos. And I'll play with it at night. And this is pretty much what this was. This is a five megapixel right here, shot right here. So it's not bad. And this is why I'll play with it uh, at nighttime. I see how it would look like when you take it at night. So this one, 13 megapixel shot right here in my studio at night. This way. That's what it looks like. And then just regular shots, five megapixel I just took right now. So not bad. After I download from my Zedge, using them as my wallpaper good so overall yeah that's what i like about it is a display um hands down it's amazing it's a flex mobile for real good and there you have it the thing that i like about this 4g smartwatch and that is the display hands down but the number one thing that I truly do hate that I don't tether to my phone so that I can receive notification and phone calls, etc. But overall, y'all, the display on this is truly amazing. It's a flex factor for real when I step out the door. People always ask me questions. Where'd you get that phone? I mean, this watch. <laughs> a mini phone. where you get this watch from? That thing is huge. I know. I know. Now, the one thing, if you do want to play your apps, like I said, you want to uh, connect to your Wi-Fi at home. Or if you're out and about, connect to your hotspot on your phone. That's the only way you can tether it to uh, have access to your apps. And that, without those two, is dead to the world. The only thing you use it for is for time. Now, which is crazy because I got to connect to my Bluetooth right now. And I can see what's on my phone, the contacts on my phone. But I can't receive no notifications or phone calls when I receive on my phone on this watch. That's the only downside. But overall... Man, the display on this bad boy is nice. The camera is pretty decent. This is what I took. This is what I took with the front face camera, five megapixel. And then this is what I took with the uh, 13 megapixel at night in my studio. So not bad with the cameras, but again, you're really buying this watch for the display. And when you're outside, people will automatically ask you questions about your watch. It's real gooey. In the mind of busy. Don't die. All right. Hmm? What did you say? I didn't lie. <laughs>